Chairman, uh, in that uh, last uh, exchange. Ambassador Greenfield, uh, th that uh, is a good segue into what I wanted to talk with you about, and that is the, uh, the discussion we've had here today shows the tremendous disconnect between America and the other democracies in the world and the autocracies uh, and their, their seeming ambivalence at best to people starving all over the world and refusing to do anything about it. What, you know, you know when that happens, you sit here and you wonder, what, what is this United Nations for anyway? I mean, uh, the United Nations, is, as the chairman has pointed out, is a place where these things should be resolved. And we, we just had reference to the fact that there's these negotiations going on that we all know about. Uh, in, uh, it was done in Iran with uh, Turkey and uh, uh, in Russia. Um, what, where, where's the United Nations on this? It seems that they're they're just absent on it, and uh, I'm not I'm not saying this is your fault by any stretch. It's the 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 organization itself. A lot of us have had reservations for a long time about the, what w they spend a lot of money, uh, but what gets done? Uh, thank you for that question. I, I understand your frustration, uh, Senator, uh, but I will say that the uh, United Nations has been proactively engaged in these nego negotiations uh, that have taken place in Istanbul, uh, and they have they were responsible for bringing the parties together to bring for bringing the Ukrainians, the Russians, and the Turks uh, together. The Iranians were never involved in any of these discussions. So what we see happening now in Iran is very much separate from uh, the engagement that the UN was responsible for putting together. I will also say that in New York, we are able to galvanize uh, countries from all over the world. We brought 141 countries uh, to the table to condemn uh, Russia's actions. And I can tell you that the Russians were making every effort to intimidate and press those countries uh, away from uh, supporting uh, this General Assembly uh, resolution. And their disinformation campaign is extraordinarily effective, which is why we have to ramp up our efforts to engage with these countries and get the information uh, out that will counter uh, the Russian uh, narrative. Uh, I've had a series of what I have referred to as listening tours with various regions, with Africa, with Latin America, uh, with countries, the ASEAN countries, with the Middle East, to put on the table the, 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 the facts of what is happening on the ground and making sure that they understand that Russia is responsible for what is happening. Uh, it is not Ukraine's fault. Uh, it is not sanctions. It is their brutal war uh, against Ukraine. Well, I, I appreciate that. And, and uh, it, it uh, you guys did good work getting a number of people to condemn uh, what what amazes me is sitting here as an outsider and looking at it that there, that there were even a handful of people that would uh, would get behind the Russians that that, that absolutely amazes me and and uh, it's all well and good that uh, that vote was as lopsided as it was but then what I mean the UN is supposed to exist to to resolve this stuff and uh, uh, when you have a vote that lopsided we know what's right, we know what's wrong, but nothing's happened. I mean, uh, uh, certainly uh, NATO uh, is, is a strong force. Uh, NATO's uh, responded and, uh, and come together and it's stronger than it's ever been. But the UN, again, just seems to be absent on the thing. I mean, uh, talk is wonderful, but uh, doing something on the ground is so much more important and it's just, it's not happening. Uh, again, looking at the fact that the UN has been responsible for feeding more than 10 million people in, uh, with our support and with your generosity, as well as that from the rest of the, uh, the world, but I commend uh, the World Food Program and others who have really taken uh, a proactive uh, approach to responding to the humanitarian crisis. 
Uh, and we, can't, we could not do that without uh, the United Nations. Uh, but I'm not here to uh, defend every action. We know that the organization uh, has its flaws, and that is why I sit every day in New York and, and make every effort to uh, work with uh, other countries to uh, reform the organization. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. And Administrator Power, I, I think that uh, those statistics that you rolled out about what we're doing and what China's doing is something that really isn't out there in the in the general media. And I think all of us uh, ought to be pressing that. Uh, to, I, I think that better than anything demonstrates the cavalier, nonchalant, careless attitude that uh, China and, and the other uh, people that are complicit with Russia in this have. Thank you.